If silence was supposed to be maintained while eating, I would rather eat alone. An awkward silence was occupying the breakfast table. I didn't know about others, but it was awkward for me. Whenever dad and I would eat breakfast together, we would always talk about various things and then eat slowly. I was sitting next to Ace, who was quietly eating the pancakes. Oh someone speak for God's sake. The awkward silence was broken by grandma as she said, How are you feeling about everything, of a, a great so far, I responded with a genuine smile. I was happy that she at least started a conversation. At times like these I really miss Liliana. Emma was the one to sit quietly in one corner, but Liliana would always talk about anything that got into her mind at that instant. Tomorrow morning mom and dad are going on a vacation. They would return after a month. I hope Ace told you Luna informed me. I nodded my head. He did inform me with a text last evening that I saw today while brushing my teeth. Well, he left me on scene zone last day, so I didn't see his text until this morning. I was really thankful to God that grandma and grandpa were going on a vacation to Italy. At least, that would keep grandpa busy and he wouldn't even be here to question Ace and me. We would be stress-free regarding that matter. I think we should send Ace and Ava somewhere too, and Chloe spoke up. Why? I couldn't help but question her. Oh, I get it. Luna got into the conversation with a warm smile on her lips. Chloe means that the two of you didn't get to go on a honeymoon. Ace choked on the water all of a sudden. As I was next to him, I rubbed his back to help him stop the coughing. I was grateful to him for creating a distraction, even though he didn't mean to. Are you okay? I asked him. He gave me a curt nod. I think Ace is shy at the mention of honeymoon teased Aunt Chloe. I tried to suppress my laughter, Ace being shy, that too over the thought of going on a honeymoon with me. Seriously, going on a honeymoon with Ace would be a friendly tour for us nothing else. Ace rolled his eyes and continued eating breakfast. Okay, so as I was saying, Luna continued speaking. The two of you should go somewhere for your honeymoon. You are right, Luna, Grandpa spoke up at last. He glanced at the two of us and said, What do you think, Ace? Grandpa was definitely testing us once again. If Ace declined it directly, he would know our marriage wasn't due to love. Ace cleared his throat and said, We would love to. In fact, Ava and I were talking about this yesterday. We were. And it. Grandpa urged Ace to continue speaking. And we decided to go once I complete the project I am currently working on. He was such a blunt liar. The way he said it even made me believe we actually had such a conversation and I didn't remember about it. That jerk. We have no issues if you two want to wait. It was just our suggestion, Aunt Chloe let out. Besides, one shouldn't avoid work at any cost. I support your decision. Ace, not wanting this conversation to further continue, I decided to ask when will Lily return, Aunt Chloe. A smile formed on her lips at the mention of her daughter. She looked so young that no one would believe she had a 24 years old daughter. But then again, she was pregnant with Liliana when she was 16, so her age was bound to be less than Luna. Lily will return tomorrow evening, she answered me. I talked to her last night and she said that she had a surprise for all of us. I wonder what it could be. Did you tell her about the wedding of Ace and Ava? Grandma asked curiously. How did she react? This was the first time Emma spoke up during the breakfast table. She was quiet the entire time up until now. She is already over the moon to meet Ava as her sister-in-law. She said she always knew the two of you would end up together. But then again, the whole world knew it. People used to ship you guys, said Aunt Chloe. I had the urge to roll my eyes at that comment, but I managed to keep up my smile. Aunt Chloe, Grandma, and Grandpa got up from their seats and went to their respective rooms after their breakfast was over. You know, the staff in my restaurant used to ask me whether you two were a couple or not, Luna told us. But I always replied that it wasn't my place to tell since every comment left from my mouth can affect your lives. Paparazzi would go crazy. With that, she got up too and left, leaving me, Emma, and Ace here. They were already crazy, I mumbled. Ace chuckled after hearing me. He knew exactly what I was thinking. 
Every time we would eat out, even if we tried to maintain our private life, the paparazzi would manage to click our pictures. One time, there was a waiter who took our order and we waited for the food. But it turned out that the waiter was a curious hash avish shipper who took the disguise of a waiter just to get a closer look at us. Like seriously. The least he could do was serve us the food we ordered after seeing us. You are thinking of that crazy so-called waiter, aren't you? Ace whispered to me. I glanced at him. What else? I retorted. I am still mad at him for not serving us food. We waited for 15 minutes. It was only 15 minutes. The way he said it, I felt that 15 minutes was indeed very little time. But I was starving, I pointed out. He chortled and shook his head. Who am I trying to reason out with? It never makes sense when we talk. Do you realize that? I narrowed my eyes. What exactly do you mean by that? Immediately, his teasing smile changed and his face was covered with an innocent look. Nothing, I wouldn't dare to say anything. Emma burst into laughter hearing our conversation. Ace was trying his best to control his laughter but he failed miserably. With the fork in my hand, I stabbed the pancake harshly and continued eating without replying to him. Ava and Ace, do you know who created your ship name Avis in the first place? Emma asked curiously. She never hesitated to talk with me or Ace, at least. I shook my head in denial as my mouth was full. Oh, Ace asked Emma. And how the hell did that go trending just when I won the Businessman of the Year award two years ago? Ace took the Valentino fashion in his hand two years ago, after Grandpa retired and since then, he was winning the Businessman of the Year award. I remember it started when someone posted a picture of us laughing together and captioned it Eves, do you know who did this? I questioned Emma this time. She lowered her gaze and mumbled softly, it was me. I posted that picture with a fake account and gave your ship name Hash Avis.